Okay, so this is going to be a quick demonstration of how to use the Ambin artillery uh, composition in an actual mission. So this is a mission that I've been working on and I want to... I'm going to have some artillery in my main base here and as my guys leave out it's going to start firing. So they'll be driving past it as it's firing and then they'll be going down this road here, approaching this road. And once they get to this area here, they'll see the effects of what the um, artillery has achieved. Uh, so down in this area, um, I've already got some ambience going on. If I can get my camera oriented properly. So I've got some burned out tanks and stuff going on down this road here. Some smoking wrecks and a few things. So this is the area where I want these um, artillery pieces to be aiming. So going back up to the map. To the base. This is basically where I want to have my uh, artillery pieces. So I'm going to go as before to F2, Compositions, Custom, and as before in a previous video, if you've subscribed to this on Steam, then it will be under Helpers uh, down here in the Steam Subscribed Content section. But for me at the moment. Because I haven't uploaded it, it's still in my helper section. So under CDE's ambient artillery, basically take it, drag it up to the map, and drop it in where you want it. And luckily for me, I've kind of devised this around this actual map, so it's all oriented in the right uh, direction. What you not, might need to do is play about with the actual orientation once you've placed it. But I'm going to drop these down here for now. Bring my camera in so I can have a look at it. So everything is kind of oriented. So what you will need to do is yeah, just mess about with your, yeah, just make sure that you've toggled your surface snapping and everything before you do it. And then you can basically use the rotation widget. Uh, it's kind of lined up in the direction that I want them to be firing already. I think all the guns are pointing in that direction towards the targets. So I don't really need to mess about with it, but if you um, need to alter your direction of fire, then you can basically do this before you fix it. Okay, so that's done. Everything's in place. So now I just need to move the targets. So these uh, destroyed rhinos are the targets. If I actually look at the map view. So the target locator will appear on the map. So this target one, target two, target three, target four will appear on the map. And so will the rhino wreckage. Uh, if you don't want those, then you can just go down to this folder here that says delete me and just trash it and they will all disappear. These empty targets are what the, your artillery pieces need to aim at. So these have to stay. These won't appear on the map, they're hidden. So let me just bring those back. So what you need to do is basically take all those three pieces there and then drag them over to where you want. Uh, so target one is obviously artillery piece, one or more to one. Target two section is gun two, gun three, gun four, gun five, etc. So wherever you want those um, aiming is where you need to drag these three things, three, three items too. So let's... Stretch the map out a bit. And let's say I have these three. And this is a mortar, so we can have quite a short range, so we can have these falling somewhere fairly close. And the same with target five is also a mortar. So I can drag those three items, place those. somewhere around here and then repeat the process exactly the same way with targets two three and four let's do it like this two at a time i can't back in and grab those ones yeah i know 
Okay, so now I can drag those three down to the same location. And have them spaced maybe down the road. So let's do target four somewhere around here. Target three slightly on the opposite side of the road. Target two a little bit further down the road. Over here. Now one thing that you're going to be uh, need to be aware of is the minimum range and maximum range of your artillery pieces. If you put the artillery pieces too close, they won't fire because uh, they're uh, inside the minimum range. So with your artillery pieces, it's best to put them quite a way out. I'd say I think it's at least um, 1,200 meters you need to move them out from your uh, artillery. Uh, but the um, two mortar pieces, you can bring leave those a little bit closer. So let's drag target four a little bit further down the road as well. Over here. And that should be it. So let's go back over here. Just check the placing for everything. I mean, I'm actually not going to use all of these in the mission, so I'll probably take out the mortars and just leave the artillery pieces for my mission. But I will just demonstrate um, that it is working first. So let's just pop a player down. There we go. You'll do. So, placing our in single player. Might take a while to load up because uh, I've got quite a few assets down on this map already. Okay, so here we are. Um, all the assets down in admission. Everything looks mostly okay, but yeah, there is a couple of things that are going to need tweaking. Like some sandbags here need replacing slightly. And same again there, floating sandbag. Uh, so just check those kind of things uh, once you've placed your uh, assets down. But now we should be uh, good for a quick demo. So if we go to radios, so zero, zero, as you can see, um, RT is on one, and the two motors, which are on either end, are on radio channel two, which is Bravo. So uh, let's fire off the motors first. So. Let's go away with two. Okay, so that guy's firing off his four rounds. That guy's firing off his four rounds. Okay, lovely. So let's try that with the IT as well. So that would be zero, zero, one. And there we go. Wow, look at that guy go. He's at his cafe. And there we go. All three artillery firing. As I said, you can repeat that uh, by just repeating the radio code again. So if I want everybody to fire all at the same time, I'll just uh, quickly do uh, 001, followed by 002. And now everybody should fire off at the same time. Uh, each battery will fire off four rounds per salvo. And then they'll go back into rest mode waiting for the next order to fire. And they'll keep doing that until you run out of ammunition. So if you have a Zeus, it's a good idea to keep loading these if you're going to be using them throughout the mission. Uh, otherwise you're going to start to get error warnings uh, when you run out of ammunition. Okay, so all is good. Let's go have a look at where those shells are landing. I can hear them landing now already. So nice ambience. Looks good, sounds good. Let's have a look at it from the other perspective. So let's take my guy down the road. Where are we? Let's drop him around here. Make sure he's set to 
damage off and stamina off because he's about to get the shit kicked out of him. Okay, and let's try that again. Right, so as you can see, if I go into the map now, um, those markers show quite clearly where the artillery is going to land. This is why you need to get rid of these before you uh, actually use the mission or before you load it up onto the server for people to mess about with. Um, because, yeah, you don't want them knowing where everything's going to be landing. You can always mark it as a danger area, uh, artillery expected or something like that. It's up to you, but I would just delete those markers before you actually start a mission. So, let's see what the mortars can do. They should be landing ways up there, back towards the base somewhere. And we're waiting for those to land, let's bring in the artillery as well. So I could one. Uh, oh. Yep. That's the mortars quick succession. Okay, and that's the artillery firing. take a little while longer to arrive but it's up there somewhere there we go See any of those actually land. Uh, I guess it's because they're all out there in the water somewhere. Uh, maybe I'll bring him in a little bit closer. Oh, hello. What are you doing up there? Huh. I have to get rid of you before uh, my guys come down the street. It's going to freak them right the fuck out. Okay, so that's pretty much how it works. Um, let's go back to uh, Eden Editor. So what I would do now, um, if I'm happy with, we well, I'm not happy with those, I'd probably move these actually a little bit closer to the road, um, because these shots are supposed to be landing before my guys arrive. I don't want to kill any of the guys, so uh, it might be a good idea to keep them out of the way a little bit. Um, but yeah, what I would do now is basically just stop it and uh, get rid of all of these. Remember to leave, this is a critical. Um, if you don't have these in there, then your artillery is not going to fire because it needs the empty markers uh, to know what it's shooting at. But everything else you can get rid of. You actually leave the, um, if you want to, go away. Um, you can leave the Rex in because that gives you a good visual reference. It's not going to be much of a giveaway to the actual players. Uh, but if you actually have a look, so it gives you a good reference of where the shots are going to land if you're actually in mission and you want to know exactly where your shots are going to land. If you've got something placed like this, uh, then you know where your, your uh, artillery is going to be coming down. So you can leave those in, but you definitely need to take out the actual markers. So just make sure that you've got rid of all of those. Um, easiest way to do it actually is just go down to the delete me folder and just get rid of them in there. Okay, and then the rhinos I'm going to leave in. Okay, and that's it.